Once upon a time, there was a powerful kingdom. The queen of the kingdom always got what she wanted. She was very possessive about the prince of the state, who was her only son. She nurtured the prince with the best of everything. The finest suits, gourmet food, best of the teachers to educate, and much more. As the prince grew young and it was time for him to get married, the queen called him to her room. A prince must marry a prince, but he must find her by himself. Keep a few things in mind while choosing your bride. Don't just look for any beautiful face. A princess is not just a daughter of the king and the queen. She should be a delicate, intelligent, and graceful girl with a good sense of clothing and the one who carries herself with dignity. Most importantly, the first thing you'll notice in a princess is that a real princess has a voice of an angel. The prince agreed to the queen, and the queen allowed him to go on his journey to find a bride. The prince, along with his servants, traveled for many days to reach the nearest kingdom. He went to the king and introduced himself. The king was pleased with the prince, as he was handsome and polite. The king took him to his daughter, who was yet to marry. The prince was pleased to see the beautiful princess in her room. She was studying a poem and was well-dressed. Hello, princess. Hello. The prince was shocked because the princess's voice was cracking. Are you all right? Can I bring you some water? No, no, I'm not thirsty. Oh, okay. You please read your poetry. I'll have to leave now as it's getting late. It was lovely to meet you. The prince was disappointed for a while but continued his journey to the next neighboring kingdom. He reached at the castle and introduced himself to the king. The king and the queen were so pleased with the prince's charm that they immediately invited him to meet the princess. The prince went to the princess's room. He saw a beautiful princess sitting at the dining table. She was having her food. The prince greeted her. She didn't even look at the prince. She was eating very greedily. Princess, you are a little busy. I'll leave you alone with your favorite food. And the prince left the kingdom. After traveling for many days and many places, the prince couldn't find a suitable girl to marry. He was disappointed and returned to his kingdom. His parents greeted him. He told them the whole story of his journey. Oh, how sad. But I'm happy that you're home without choosing any one of those girls. I'm sure your life would have been miserable after marrying any of them. The prince agreed to the queen and returned to his room. There was a thunderstorm that night. The prince was watching it from the window of his room. He saw somebody coming to their castle. There was a knock on the door. The servant opened the door. There was a beautiful girl standing outside. She was dressed in a heavy cloak and completely wet due to rain. The prince walked down as he heard a sweet voice of the girl. My driver got lost in the rain. I, I followed the light in your castle. Would you be kind enough to provide us with shelter for the night? Of course. You're welcome to stay. Allow me to take your coat. Prince welcomed her in the castle. As the prince took her overcoat, he thought she was the most beautiful girl he had ever seen. He asked his servants to look after the girl and ran to the queen to inform her. The queen walked with him to the girl. The queen disliked her at first glance. She is not a princess, son. Look at her muddy, dirty dress. She has no servants with her. And why would a princess travel in such heavy rains? But mother, I've never seen any beautiful girl walking so gracefully. The queen realized that the prince had fallen for her. She devised a plan to get rid of her, proving her not to be a princess. I'll put her to a test. Tonight, we'll offer her a royal bed to sleep. And under the ten luxurious mattresses, I'll put an uncooked pea. 
If she's a princess, she would be delicate enough to feel the pea. The prince had faith in his mother. The queen ordered her servants to arrange the pea under the girl's bed. The prince escorted the girl to the room. A ladder was kept to get to the bed. The girl woke up in the morning and called a servant. I'm very restless. Please don't tell this to the prince, but it's an awful bed. It felt like there's a brick inside it. I couldn't sleep the entire night. The prince came to know about the girl's complaint. He rushed to her. You're a true princess, aren't you? Please marry me. I'll marry you as long as I don't have to sleep on this bed again. <laughs> the prince and the princess got married and lived happily ever after.